Hello everybody, how you all going there today? How you all going? Hope you're all well out there. Make sure and I are down here at the harbour. Haven't been here for ages, months and months. Who's that mutt over there? Yeah, rubber. It's a beautiful day. And I'm going to come here for a fish. Haven't had a fish down here for ages. Now it is August. And I don't normally fish here in August. But I thought I would come down. And we have a fish. Let's see how we get on. And we're also here to cook up a delicious tasty feed. We're going to have... That's the main reason. Come down here and I'm going to cook up some sausages. Here we are. Check this place out, my friends. Incoming tide. We're about... Uh, we are about an hour or so incoming tide. So that is awesome. So we'll fish the, most of the incoming tide. We'll see how we go. Also, we're here to cook up a delicious feed of sausages. So stick around. I hope you enjoy this video. Here we are, the wind here, it's great. So I'd better do my cooking just down over here. Run a bit of a hill, so you can check that out. So I can get all my gears ready here, cook up my food here, set my chair up, get the rods ready, and this, all these trees here block out a lot of that wind. Just awesome, awesome. So the weather's supposed to turn to custard tomorrow, so it's a good time to come down. During the week, it's a Wednesday, there's nobody around, no one at all, no jet, jet skis, rocking up the old Serenity, a couple of boats out, and that's it. So on the uh, ocean side there, the winds started picking up now. There's a bit of uh, some crap weather coming tomorrow, Friday. Anyway, uh, get my rods ready, and then we'll throw them out, see we get on. So here's our sausages we're having today. Two pork and watercress ones and one goat sausage. I'm gonna cook this up today and we're gonna have that with some kumara, some fried kumara. A little bit of bait there, I got some squid that I used the other day. We'll try some squid here. I've got a, uh, a ledger rig with two hooks on, we'll try that. A little bit of bling on it as well. So we shall be using some squid and I've got some pilchards as well which we'll use. I'll use that on a running running uh, two hook rig with the running sinker. Using six ounce sinkers as well. Oh did I bring my I did bring it. It's pretty handy, you always bring a towel or a bucket of water to wash your hands. Should be enough there. Let's put her out. Think. Right. So it's quite nice. I haven't had a fish here for ages. Probably since Christmas time. January.
Who's ready? Ready. So tide's coming in, so the best cast. So what I've got here, I've got my running six ounce sinker for the harbour. This is a bit of pilchard, half a pilchard and some, a bit of uh, squid. I'm just going to try that out first. I had it in the uh, old bait bag, sort of frozen, so I'll just use that, see how it goes. Back a bit. Tide comes in pretty fast. Bait. Rod number two. Oh, what's happened here? Ready. Let's have a look. Yep, mine's nice and straight. A bit to the right there a bit. Perfect. I should have enough drag lead off. Did you get a eagle ray on there? Right, we got a fish one already. It's on that second hand. That second hand bait. It's been in the water about two minutes. On here. It's on an old bait used the other day with Adrian. Oh, it's a while, I think. That was quick. Here it comes. Well, that was really fast. Two minutes in the water, not even there. What have we got here? A little kahawai. Nice kahawai. That is a nice, tasty little kahawai. That one. Check that one out. Nice. Nice little eater. We're going to keep that. Look at that. It's just hooked as well. Wow. That bait worked really well. I don't put the hand line out. Should I? Haven't got it ready yet. Next one. Be our lunch here. Kahawai. Right, we'll put them in the chili bin. There we have it. It's our first kahawai. The bait was in the water for about three minutes, not even that. Went to grab my beanie out of the car, come back and there we have it. These are tasty eaters, these ones. You get some nice fillets of that and really tasty smoked as well. Right, I'm gonna put it in the chili bin and rebait it. That old bait, see? Done it again.
so good, man. There's nobody here. It's great. No, haven't any noisy boats. It's just awesome. Best time to come down, actually. Anytime after Christmas and before Christmas. Oh, man, it's cold. All right, so I have brought the wood stove, so we're going to use that. I brought my two APG cooking systems as well, my little gas cooking systems. The 750ml one here. And also got the 1400ml one APG. A cheap alternative to a jet boil. So that's the 750ml one right there. So that's the 1400 one there. And that is the 750ml one. So you see the difference in size. This one fits the bigger bottle, gas cylinder, which is the 230 gram one, which is in here, under here. See, it's the 230 gram gas mate one there. The 750 mil one, which I really like using. It's really good for making a quick cup of coffee. You can fit in here the smaller version, also your potholder stand but this one here is the baby one that is a hundred and ten gram container gas cylinder that fits in the smaller one I don't like using these these go through the gas really quickly and I prefer using the other size have here some secateurs so with these secateurs here I'm going to cut all these to fit into my wood stove easy as got the right size to stand them up in frying pan on now. I'm going to use a cast iron pan. The cast iron pan sits really well on here. Here's our little pot holder here. Just make sure that it's level. So, Hurupito and Kawakawa seasoning. And we also have here some eggs, some oil. Our kumara. I've got the peeler though. I have to use the old knife to peel that with. The wind's blowing all the heat away from the
it's a bit better I just moved the chili bin in my bucket closer to the to the fire because uh, the wind was blowing all the heat away from the frying pan it's heaps better you can hear the sizzle now I was just going to use the gas cooker and I put two other frying pans over here I was just going to use that and I thought oh, I'll bring the wood stove because there's heaps of wood around on the beach bits of wood so might as well use it up while we're here be enough I've come under the uh, bit of a hill here little sand there because the bloody winds making it hard for my food to cook as you can see there so I've just come down here like a little gully to try and get out of that wind because that wind's just moved just changed from coming westerly to more like a southwesterly now so it's taken ages to cook my bloody food all that smoke that I'm making is blown towards the golf course over here so hopefully no one will call the fire brigade but yay, finally be able to cook my food properly. Like a little, uh, it's like a little trench in here. our rod over there. Let's have a taste of this. Mm. Pork and a watercress. Yeah. 
Here's the old. Finally, we can eat our kai, which is our sausages, kumara, and eggs. Nice afternoon. Mm, ready? Delicious. Great sausage. Hmm. It's very tasty. Oh no, bloody hell. Drop my spoon in the sand. Haven't had sand in my food for ages. This kumara is really tasty. Oh, that's better. Got a bit of sun now. Beautiful afternoon. The wind's died down a bit now, which is great. Sausages are very tasty. Yum. Push the whole incoming tide and we'll see how we get on. So two rods, rebaited, let's see if we can catch another fish. A trevally would be nice, what am I a trevally? Right, we'll get out of the wind a bit because man, it's, the wind's popped up again so we'll just stay over here. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh man, crazy weather. Oh. Right, time for a uh, cup of coffee. Epic feed. Just having one of these. These are the uh, Crimean Frothy Vanilla Latte. Very tasty.
Oh, a little fella. I thought so, I didn't even know he was even on. It'd be a good bait. But if he's still alive, we'll let him go. Come on, here we go. Didn't survive. I don't think so. Here he goes. So I've got um Got half a pilchard on this one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, nibbles again. If they needed a coffee after our sausages. So I'm going to pack up now, had enough, I want to leave it a little bit early so I can pick up the rods so I can see what I'm doing. But I think I've left it as late as I can without having a head torch. So I'm going to reluctantly pack up one rod first at a time. Man, yeah, it's getting pretty cold. Rubber's had enough. She's crying a bit down here. Rubber, you crying down there, Rubber? Yep, she's crying down there. Look, Rubber, right? Let's see. 
might come back here again sometime very soon. I actually quite enjoyed uh, today's little session. It's pretty quiet, so I enjoyed it. So thanks for watching. We will catch you all on the next video.